Hey, so today on today's Tuesday tip with Real Turf Solutions, we wanted to go over with you on pruning crepe myrtles. It's that time of the year, it's January, February, and so we always see crepe murder. And so crepe murder is where people just take these big, huge, beautiful crepe myrtles and they just whack them back. So the question is, are you gonna crepe murder or are you gonna crepe myrtle prune? And there's two totally different things. And so we wanted to talk to you today about how to prune those crepe myrtles. Um, it's been told many times that you can pr you don't prune them, you prune them, different things. Um, and so you have to, one, figure out what you like. Uh, some customers say, we don't want our crepe myrtles pruned. Um, I personally have some crepe myrtles in my own home that I do not prune. They're now 40 feet tall, look beautiful and gorgeous. They do exactly what I want them to do. Haven't pruned them in 15 years. Then there's some other crepe myrtles in my home that I want them to keep smaller and a little bit more defined. And so we recommend that we prune those and we do prune those on a regular basis. So when we talk about pruning crepe myrtles, uh, we don't want to go back in and create those knuckles. If you've been anywhere in middle Georgia very much, you've seen where there are these knuckles, these beautiful branch stems come up and then there's these big huge knots. And what those big huge knots are where people have pruned those crepe myrtles consistently at the same place. And so now you have that big knot and that knot is actually very uh, unhealthy for the plant but it's also very eyesore to see. And so what we recommend that people do is when you see those limbs come up, the only thing that we want to prune off of a crepe myrtle this time of the year is where the limbs cross. So if two limbs cross and they're rubbing back and forth, um, that's, that's a limb that you want to take out. We also want to prune the crepe myrtle in a umbrella type shape. Um, instead of just whacking it all flat, you want to get in there and you want to strategically prune the top of that crepe myrtle so that it has that nice umbrella shape to it. Uh, we also want to do that by pruning those, those, those branches up there. We also want to take off anything that's smaller than, one in, uh, smaller than the size of a pencil. So if it's smaller than a pencil, then you want to take it off. If it's bigger than a pencil, then you want to leave it, but make sure you have that nice uniform shape across the top. If you do those simple things, the crepe myrtle, when it comes out in the springtime, will have nice structure to it. It'll be able to hold up to the, the weather. The other is, is you don't get that hideous knot in there. You don't get that, that just mangled mess of, of uh, branches together in there. And it looks good, it looks clean, and looks very elegant. So, hey, take a look at a couple pictures that we've got on here to show you what crepe murder looks like and what the proper crepe myrtle pruning looks like. And if you need help with your pruning, let us know. We'll be more than happy to send one of our experts out to help you in your yard.